Let me show you how to sculpt cool hairs for 3D printing or your own personal projects. Let's get into the video. Let's start with the sculptors of this character. So before starting a hair, hair sculpt, you have to have a head. This model is made by me. And in future, I'm thinking I will be making this kind of model and be recording the videos about. And before that, before starting everything, you just have to have mask. Uh, according to your reference, you have to have mask wherever the hair is. Here is you just create mask by holding control key on the keyboard and with the smooth smooth option turn to the unhold. You just choose a desired thickness and press that accept button. By clicking on that that accept button, you will get a separate subtool of this ex extraction. And then with the control shift, just select the inside polygroup and scale it inside. Then it's very simple, just dynamic it and with the move brush, make sure to correctly uh, Correct the seams, the edges of those uh, of the extracted skull according to your reference. It's very important to follow a reference. And if you don't have a reference, just make sure to have references for the silhouettes, for the hairline, and the, for the and for the flow of uh, your hair. And here is you, you can see that I have created the center part line, which I did with the which I did with the damp standard brush and a little bit of pinch. And now I have appended a sphere, dynamized it. And uh, then after that, I'm just duplicating that sphere, that dynamized sphere and changing the shape for the whole volume of the hair. And this is, this is the base. This is the base of this whole hair, the volumes and the shapes. I will be making sure to uh, follow those things and try to achieve those flows and main volumes, major volumes in, with the with this pass. First is the extraction pass. The second was second one is this uh, volume pass, which you put different uh, meshes to make the overall sell out of this uh, hair sculpt. And if you don't have this uh, breakdown before starting this, just make sure to have a breakdown where you have the sell out and the volumes properly break broke, broken down into different uh, shapes and uh, after that while sculpting you can just go go ahead and um, define those shapes in your sculpt so here you can see i have dynamized those volumes and i'm just using clay buildup and dam standard to uh, carve out the flow of the hair so first was the volume second is the flow i'm just marking out the flow with us the, uh, the on these shapes for these kind of thing, clay build up and if you go to stroke, curve modifier or stroke modifier, where we will see, you will be seeing that there is a roll distance option. You can just turn high, like turn to some five, six number to the roll distance and you can just use that clay build up brush that won't give you a jitter kind of feel. Center lines, that won't give you the center lines. You will, you will, you will see, you, you can just check it out. And if you have any doubt, just let me know in the comment section. And damn standard is too good for creating these kinds of lines, uh, stroke lines. You just have to have a little bit of high resolution in uh, dynamic, and you can just uh, create those kinds of strokes. So it's just a simple use of damn standard and clay builder brush. And for major corrections of the sale out, I'm just using big draw size for the move brush and just changing the shapes properly wherever I need them. Now you can see I have appended the cube and I'll be dynamishing it and using a deformer to deform it for some specific strands, thick strands which are which are visible from a, from a distance. I'm just using these kinds of things for placing those, those uh, defined clumps. You can do this with do this thing with sphere also, but I, I thought of just using this cube kind of feel for those strands. So you can see this is bend curve reformer and with the bend curve reformer I was just placing by using those dots. And after that it's just about correcting the sill out of your main hair and just sitting there and defining the shapes properly and adding these kinds of strands separately for whatever you are for whatever strands you are seeing as a separate in your reference just add those separate strands to 
break the overall sill out because hair is not going in only one direction you have to have a breakages which is uh, going and changing the sill out and making it interesting so you just add those strands as a breakages and if you need uh, more volume in some areas and if you need more depth in some areas you just use those kinds of strand thick strands and change the volumes according to uh, your reference this is this is the brush which I, which i made for sculpting my hairs like my hair sculpts so i will maybe i'll share those uh, brushes later and uh, or or else you can just go online and find find some uh, download some brushes there are some free brushes which are available so just go and find, uh, search to for those uh, hair brushes and with those hair brushes uh, and uh, the volume which you have created just uh, do these kind of strokes to def more define your define your flow of the hair uh, more prominently so you can see that i have just i'm just right now i'm just sitting there and using those uh, brushes to just correct my uh, correct or add flows or uh, and the negative gaps with this this kind of strands separate strands and editing this with big draw size of uh, move brush it depends on you how much you want to just go and add these kind of strand but i was aiming for printing this thing so i thought of just adding thick strands which can be uh, easily printed maybe i haven't printed it yet but i'll try to print it as soon as possible and i'll show you the result um yeah that is why that is why i'm keeping those uh, separate strands as thick thick strands i'm not going in thin details as as hairs are but it it depends on the purpose sculpas is for for your own reference and the feeling of hair it's not like it's going to go in on a game or in movie it, it's just a sculpas to represent your uh, hair volume and shapes so it depends uh, how how in how much detail you want to go or uh, you don't want to go and also for this kind of stage uh, this kind of last stage where you have a uh, high resolution you can just use slash brush which is under light box brushes and slash options slash brush options you can just check them out if you like it you can use it uh, i use it sometimes not every time sometimes if i feel like yeah i need two strokes because uh, for me those strokes that change doesn't change that much and if you are seeing that your shapes are uh, becoming flat just add these kinds of random stroke by after dynamishing dynamishing it that is what i did here these flat this thick strokes these thick strands were having a flat feeling so i just dynamized them and added a uh, strokes added strokes over it now i'm just changing the sill out and after that comes the part of this uh, hairline where i used curve snap brush curve snap tube brush and with that a uh, little bit of modification in the curve modifier i just made these kind of small strands which feel like uh, these are these are the transition of the hairline now it's time to time to fill up the colors so i hope you are familiar with poly paint or else just let me know the there is one video on the channel for for the easiest explanation about poly, poly paint so you can just watch that and i'm just filling out the dark colors which are below and with the change of alpha i can just have this kind of strand feeling on top of my hair skull so yeah that's it and here is our final render for this thing thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video